Let me tell you a lie. You will know who you are and what you're here to do when you know who you are and what you're here to do. For herein lies the lie the world is trying to get you. Getting to know yourself is the best thing you can do. That is why they say, know thyself, discover who you are and why, to your own person be true. Your greatest need is to become self-actualized. But actually, all these promises are based on an assumption that breaks when you drill down into what they're really trying to say. For trying to know who you are by simply looking inside is based on the fundamental presupposition that you are where the center of the universe lies. And that is why becoming self-actualized is actually the world's most tactical lie. Because self cannot define something bigger than itself, and who you are is comprised of not just you, but of everything else. For self cannot self-help, I cannot identify I. So we need to look somewhere else to find what we are all trying to find. For we all want to make the answers to these two questions clear. Who am I? And what am I doing here? What these two questions are really introducing are questions of being and questions of doing. Who am I? What am I doing here? Who am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? What was I created for? What have I been called to? And since we know that neither I nor you will ever finish questing after these questions we're all questioning through without looking beyond what our own mind can prove, then we need to plot a new course to get to the truth. So we will not accept the titles the world is hawking. We will not base who we are off of what they are offering. We will not find our identity inside inward wandering. We will not found our purpose under culture's covering. But we will look to the one who created our being to find our meaning. We will look to the one who prepared our doing to unearth our purpose. For when we find his being, we will find our own. And when we discover what he's doing, the reason for our existence will be shown. Let me tell you the truth. You will know who you are and what you're here to do when you know who Jesus is and what he was here to do. For if you can't know yourself unless you first know your maker, then you must know Jesus, who is the perfect image of our creator. And if you can't know your purpose unless you first know why God made you, then you must know Jesus, who is the only one who only did what the Father created him to do. So, the question must be asked, who is Jesus and what was his task? Well, for starters, Jesus is the Son of God, the visible image of the Invisible One, which already tells us a whole lot about who we are. For if God has a Son, then we know God has a family, and if the Son became like us, it means God wants us to join His dynasty. So the very first thing we learn about our own beings by looking to Christ is that who we are is desired by the Creator of life. And we can also see what this desire is like. Because if the Invisible One became visible, then His love for us must be one of great might. So, in light of this gleaming, we also learn about our being that we are so loved that God became like us. So, you want to know who you are? You are loved by a God who wants you in his home. You are desired by a God who spared no effort, distance, or bone. For he 
came for you. And this is where his and our purpose is shown, that Jesus came to seek and save the lost by making himself known. So you want to know what your purpose is? You want to know what you are here to do? You are here to continue the mission of the one who came here to save you. Your purpose is to be sent. Your being is to tell the one story about the one man that can save every living thing from the punishment of hell. Who are you? You are the hands and feet of Jesus. What are you here to do? To use those limbs to point to him, the one who became flesh 